My name is Paul with Appliance Service by Paul in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're here to talk about electric range burners. We're standing in front of a gas range, obviously. However, I want to talk about electric ranges. Many times when we're cleaning the range, we can unplug these types of burners. And when we do, too often they're removed like this instead of coming up and out like this. These burners plug into a receptacle underneath the top of your range. When the burners get bent like this, then they won't plug into the receptacle correctly. If they don't plug in there correctly, we get arcing and burning, which can damage or destroy the burner. When you take these out of your range, you want to inspect the ends and make sure they're clean. You don't see any burnt marks on them. Wipe them off with a cloth. If there's any grease on there. And then when you plug them back in, go in at a low angle and into the receptacle. Again, this is the type of thing you're going to be plugging into that you can't see. Where that goes in and pushes, just like plugging a cord in to an outlet for your hair dryer, your toaster, or anything else. And it needs to be secure and sit flat in the drip bowl. If it doesn't, uh, check the ends, make sure these are flat, horizontal, and they go in there tight. If you do these things, your range burners will last a long time and your receptacles will also. If you find that these are damaged and burnt, the receptacle may be burnt also. You can buy a receptacle kit and a burner which are very easy to install. My name is Paul from Appliance Service by Paul in Salt Lake City and we've been talking about range surface burners.